eukaryotes, the cell cycle is an orderly progression of events that takes place between the formation of a new cell and the division of its parent cell. The purposes of cell division are to make more cells for growth, repair, or reproduction. There are two main stages of the cell cycle, interphase, where the normal cell functions and preparation for division takes place, and cell division. During interphase, the genetic material is in the form of greatly extended fibers of DNA called chromatin. Centrosomes with centriole pairs can be observed as well. Interphase can also be divided into three subphases. G1, where the decision to begin the process of cell division is made, the S period, at which time DNA replication occurs, and the G2 phase, where preparations for division are completed and the cell enters the brief M period. The M period, or mitotic phase, is where mitosis and cytokinesis take place. There are four separate phases of mitosis. We are going to classify prometaphase under metaphase for now. In prophase, the chromatin starts to condense into discrete chromosomes, the nucleoli disappear, and the nuclear membrane breaks down. By the end of prophase, the centrioles have moved to opposite poles, the chromosomes are moving to the center of the cell, and the mitotic spindle starts to form. In metaphase, the spindle forms and the chromosomes take up positions on the metaphase plate, an imaginary plane in the middle of the cell halfway between the two poles. They are located on the outside spindle. Each double-stranded chromosome is attached to a spindle microtubule at its centromere. In anaphase, the centromeres of each chromosome separate. Each sister chromatid now has its own centromere and is now called a chromosome, so there are now twice as many chromosomes as there were during metaphase. Spindle microtubules attached to the centromeres cause chromosomes to move to their respective sides. In telophase, the chromosomes gather at the poles and begin to form the daughter nuclei. The nuclear membranes begin to reform, the nucleoli begin to reappear, and the chromosomes begin to unwind and disappear from view. The two daughter nuclei will be identical to the nucleus of the parent cell. Accompanying telophase is cytokinesis, the splitting of the cell. The formation of a cleavage furrow is used to separate animal cells, while the building of a new cell wall is used to separate plant cells. Each daughter cell gets half of the contents and organelles from the parent cell. Through mitosis, two daughter cells are formed, each a diploid, with the two full sets of chromosomes inherited from the parents of the organism and genetically identical to the parent cell. Mitosis enables multicellular adults to arise from zygotes by producing cells for growth and repair, and is used for asexual reproduction in some species. In asexual reproduction, a parent cell or organism produces offspring through the cell division process of mitosis. However, a eukaryotic species may also be capable of sexual reproduction, which requires meiosis, a process in which a parent cell divides into four haploid cells, each with half the genetic material of the parent. Meiosis is composed of two steps, meiosis 1 and then meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 consists of separating the pairs of homologous chromosomes into two cells. It reduces the ploidy, or the number of the complete sets of the chromosomes, of the original cell by a factor of 2. Meiosis 2 then consists of decoupling chromatids and segregating the individuals into four haploid daughter cells. The stages of meiosis 1 are extremely similar to that of mitosis. The only radical difference is that during prophase 1, homologous chromosomes pair up and form tetrads, a step unique to meiosis. Metaphase 1 is the same as metaphase of mitosis. The nuclear membrane disappears and one kinetic core forms per chromosome and attaches two microtubules which begin to move them to the center. In anaphase 1, the tetrads separate. Chromosomes, each with two chromatids, move to separate poles. Each of the daughter cells is now haploid, but each chromosome has two chromatids. For telophase 1 and cytokinesis, nuclear envelopes may reform or the cell may quickly start meiosis 2. These steps for meiosis 1 are analogous to mitosis where two complete daughter cells form. The only difference in meiosis 2 is that in anaphase 2, sister chromatids separate, producing four haploid daughter cells, each containing half the number of chromosomes found in the original parent cell. The chromatids of each chromosome are no longer identical because of the crossing over of genes and the independent assortment of chromosomes. Meiosis keeps the number of chromosomes constant generation after generation by producing haploid daughter cells, and each daughter cell produced by meiosis is genetically unique due to the shuffling of genetic material, which creates more unique offspring. The major differences between mitosis and meiosis is that mitosis produces two identical diploid daughter cells, while meiosis produces four haploid daughter cells. This is due to the two phases of meiosis, the mixing of genetic material and the separating of sister chromatids in anaphase 2. Mitosis enables multicellular adults to arise from zygotes. It produces cells for growth repair and in some species, asexual reproduction. Meiosis shuffles the genetic material, producing genetically unique gametes, haploid sex cells, each of which can then fuse with another unique gamete during fertilization to produce a unique zygote of the next generation, which is important for diversity. Together, they are responsible for the creation of new organisms, both genetically identical as well as genetically unique.